What's going on you guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your GameCube controller for Project 64. Personally, I've never played Super Mario 64 and I wanted to play it with my GameCube controller and I figured out how to do it in a very simple and easy way. There's currently a tutorial out there that's like 21 minutes long ago, super in depth and it's super lengthy, but this one is a lot easier than that and I figured out my own way to do it. I'm going to share with you guys how I did it. And most likely, if you are a Melee player and you're using Slippy, you already have everything installed that you pretty much need to go into the next step. But if you don't, I'm going to have these all linked below. You need Zodig, and Zodig is going to replace one of the drivers. So let's go ahead and open it so I can show you guys. So you're going to go to Options, click List All Devices, and you're going to scroll down until you find WUP-028. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and reinstall the driver, so it's going to replace the driver. I already have the current version so I don't need to do that. And once you do that, now your computer can find that this is a GameCube controller plugged in. Okay, now we have the correct driver installed. Next we have to get an emulator for N64 and like I said we're using the Project 64 so I'm gonna have this all linked below. We're on the vim.net website and they have Nintendo 64 emulator so I downloaded the Windows one and I installed Project 64. And at this point, if you were watching the 21 minute video, it would tell you that you need to get two more programs and we got to set those up and then you got to install it and then it's going to work on Project 64, but things are able to get way easier from here. The next place we're going to go to is kind of like this emulation guide and I got it from the Super Mario 64 Discord and I was looking at controller plugins and this one in the name just says Wii U and GCN. So I already know it's for GameCube controllers and it's probably for a Wii U adapter. And lo and behold, if you read down here, it actually works on the official adapter in the May Flash. I have the May Flash, so if you don't have the official or the May Flash, this one might not work. But I assume most people have the May Flash because it's like the cheaper one and it's really popular. But to install it, you have to go through the GitHub and basically we're on the install page now. I'm going to show you guys how to download it and then install it and then prove that it works. So first thing you have to do is just click this. There's not really like a download button. All you have to do is do that. You're going to have to say keep because it's a DLL. It's saying like, oh, this is a dangerous file. So next thing is you're going to go to your downloads. You're going to cut this or copy it, whatever you want to do. Uh, go find your Project 64 folder minus Project 64 Dev 3.0. Go to Plugin. Go to Input. These are your controller plugins, and all you have to do is paste it in here. Now we've pretty much installed the plugin. Now all we have to do is open Project 64, go to Options, go to Configuration, click Plugins, and now you're going to notice that there is a third controller plugin. Go ahead and click PJ. 64 you want that one apply it now we can go to input settings and if you did everything right so far you'll see this window pop up and there's not too many things to adjust you know they have like default settings on and honestly I haven't played any games with this yet so I don't know if I should mess with it but I just want to prove that it actually works so I haven't you know done anything crazy I'm gonna show you guys that this actually works so we have Super Mario 64 opening and I'm not going to press anything, but I'll press start. Moving the analog stick. And that's all there is to it. You pretty much just need this plugin after you did all the previous steps, and it'll be working without having to do anything else. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and if you want to see my first ever playthrough of Mario 64, make sure you stick around and check out that, or follow me on Twitch to watch it live. Anyways guys, hopefully you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.